Hey, my name is Armando. I'm the dog trainer over here at Three Little Pitties. Um, today we're going to talk about crate anxiety. I know um, a lot of fosters, a lot of adopters get dogs and they don't crate train them because the dog, when their dog is in the crate, the dog's crying, wanting to fight him to get out. So there's bad separation anxiety, crate anxiety. So the best way to do it, I never want to use a crate as punishment, but we can teach a dog to really like it and appreciate the crate. So the first thing I want to do, um, he, Oreo's pretty good in this crate, so to just follow the same rules and it should work. If you have any questions, you can call us. Um, so basically, I'm going to leave the crate door open in the beginning. Uh, I want to build trust first. And so the first way to do that is the, the first way to build trust is leaving the gate open and letting the dog walk freely in and out. So I'm going to throw a treat in there. Okay, positive connections is what we're looking for. Good boy. So he's in there, I'm going to say good boy. So normally a dog would walk out. Crate's not, I mean, Oreo's not walking out right now. But if it did walk out, let me see if I can coach him to get walk out. Okay, let me get some more high value because we were being so good. coach him out I'm just trying to get him out um, just so I can show you how to demonstrate so good boy okay so if they come back out of the crate you know don't say anything just let them do it and then all you want to do is simply get a tree and toss it back in the crate okay and and for a while just what you're gonna be doing so maybe have like three or four sessions in your home of you just join this with the crate open have a chair and just work with them with the door open so he's your dog will probably come out. When they come out, you know, it's okay. We just throw a treat back inside. And let them know it's good. So eventually you want him to understand that him being in his crate, he gets rewarded. Again, you're doing it with the door open, never closed in the beginning. So we're gonna praise him for sitting there. Once your dog starts sitting there, good boy, good boy, yes, and treat him, okay? Um, after so many repetitions, say you didn't been doing this a full day, maybe you did it four, five times a day, five minute sessions two days in a row. So maybe the third day you can maybe start to close the crate. So you close it real quick. Move your hand, yes, and treat, okay? So that's how we start off. So again, do baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Close it, yes, good boy, he gets a treat. And and if at this point, if your dog came out, I wouldn't mind it. He's, he's really good, he's really crate trained. So and this is Oreo, by the way, for adoption. Um, so so most dogs are going to come out, and we just got to coach them back in. Yes, and and if they're not going in, then maybe use a higher value treat. So if the regular dog treats ain't working, maybe try um, tree sticks, uh, hot dogs. Do the value has to be higher. So again, we're going to close it. This time we're going to kind of lock it. Lock it. Yes. Good boy, and treat him, treat him for that. So we're, we're treating him for not breaking or not crying, basically. We're treating him that being in his crate is a good thing. Good boy. So you do this a few times a day, just close it, lock it, and then maybe the next time, maybe even stand up. Yes, cream through his crate, okay? So remember, we're, we're building positive association. Yes, good boy, good boy. Okay, you come back over here and just simply let him back out if he wants to get out, okay? Um, do this, like I said, don't move too fast. If you move too fast, it could be a little, because some dogs just have such a bad connection with their crate. So we want to take our time on teaching this behavior, this command, because it is the, one of the best commands to teach a dog. So after many repetitions of doing this, maybe you're on the fourth or fifth day, and he's going in there, you can shut the crate and then maybe from this point maybe try going out of your home um hey chelsea yes i'm gonna walk through the door can you make sure that him and me are still in frame if you can if you have to rotate that thing a little bit so again i'm gonna 
I'm gonna treat him for being in his crate, and this time I'm gonna go to the door. Praise him, and I let him back out. Good boy, okay? So he's learning that me disappearing for a quick second and me coming right back in, he's getting rewarded for. So again, this helps with anxiety. It's teaching them that the crate is good. A lot of crate anxiety is because they've always had bad experience with crates, um, and it never goes away until it's introduced or introduced properly. After, uh, so he's out, he's exploring, so Oreo. Good boy. So again, put him back in there. And then sometimes mix it up. So maybe just have him have it open for a while again. Free session. Um, let him know, again, you want to build trust in the crate. Good boy. Um, so after you work on this and then you start disappearing and treating them, you know, do that a few times when you go out the, the door and come back and reward them for not, not breaking, um, by not crying or showing anxiety. Come back in and let him know he did a good job. Then, like, maybe once you get really good at that, maybe try disappearing out the door for maybe five seconds. And then after he's good at that, maybe 10 seconds and work on 20 seconds. And then build up from there. So maybe maybe he's really good, like, at five minutes, you like, oh, my God, he's so good. Then maybe next time, maybe go to the corner store, uh, real close, not so far away, a close corner store, go get some sodas, come back. And then, again, when you come in, come in and praise him. Then let him out his crate. So this is going to lead up to you being able to crate him. But the biggest thing is is making that positive association with the crate, making it a positive thing. Um, but we don't want to say no and then put our dogs in the crate. We yell at them or sternly, then we leave, and that just builds a bunch of bad connection. So this is how you would do it. It's just basically start off small by just opening and closing it, rewarding for their good behavior. And then building up to you being away slowly. They're called like bungee stays almost. Um, where you, you go away and you come back. You go away and you come back. Because you're building the trust in the dog. You're letting them know that being in the crate is what gets them rewarded calmly. Does that make sense at all?